preparation for the certification flights of the experimental MC-21 aircraft, equipped with new Russian systems and components, is ongoing, according to Rostec. During factory fine-tuning tests, the aircraft took off for the first time from the MM Gromov Flight Research Institute airfield in Remenskoy and remained in the air for about three hours, with all systems operating normally. The flight included testing of domestically produced radio communication equipment and transponders, and the pilots praised the quality of the Russian-made communication systems. The testing went very well. The performance of the Russian communication system and transponder was solid. There were no serious issues with the equipment. The flight followed a standard profile at an altitude of 10 kilometers and a speed of about 750 kilometers per hour said test pilot and hero of Russia, Oleg Kononenko. Additional ground tests on the MC-21 three-ton prototype aircraft, tail number 73051, are continuing at the Flight Research and Development Complex, LIDK, of the Yakovlev Design Bureau in Zhukovsky to assess the aircraft's level of lightning protection. This is one of the certification stages for the import-substituted version of the aircraft. The outcome of the tests will be the approval of a major modification involving Russian-made systems. This was reported by Anton Klykov, head of the Electromagnetic Compatibility and Lightning Protection Team, in the corporate MC-21 testing journal published by UAC. Lightning protection tests are being conducted jointly with specialists from the Gromov Flight Research Institute and include passing a current simulating a lightning strike through the aircraft's fuselage. The goal is to measure the induced voltage levels in the onboard wiring network and assess the lightning protection of onboard systems during current flow through the fuselage. This helps identify and eliminate potential vulnerabilities in the electrical systems and ensures the aircraft's safety and reliability under real-world thunderstorm conditions, the specialist explained. Good afternoon, my name is Kliko Anton. This is a test diary. Today we are in the vanguard of Mazadin Lideka Paul Yakovlev, behind me Mazu 7310 aircraft, which is undergoing additional or association tests as part of the approval of the main change in the installation of a Russian-made system. This test, according to the assessment of lightning protection, is a test to assess the induced voltage in the onboard cabin of the aircraft, to assess the lightning protection of onboard systems when only lightning flows through the aircraft to ensure flight safety in the expected operating conditions. The expected operating conditions of the aircraft include flight in difficult weather conditions in various types, precipitation of which lightning may strike the aircraft. Tests are carried out jointly with specialists of Olimeni Gromov with their testing equipment. As part of these tests, we pass lightning current through the aircraft body and measure the level of new images of the onboard cable network. The data of the aircraft is one experimental aircraft which was installed the Russian engine PD-14, as well as the onboard committee of the aircraft brought to the appearance of the installation of the system of Russian production. A source from the Gromov Flight Research Institute, speaking to the Aviation of Russia website, clarified that lightning protection testing for aircraft includes simulating likely lightning strike points, laboratory testing of equipment under high voltage discharges, and currents, as well as real-world testing on the aircraft itself. During testing, the aircraft is subjected to current impulses of 5 kA, with voltage reaching up to 10 kV. Specialized equipment records the parameters of induced electricity in the cable networks, which allows ground tests to evaluate the level of system protection against atmospheric electrical discharges, the source said. He added that some international standards allow such tests with currents up to 200 kA. An article in the scientific technical journal Proceedings of VAM titled Materials for Lightning Protection of Aircraft states that statistically, the aircraft's nose radome is most often struck by lightning. Materials used for radomes must not only possess high mechanical strength but also low dielectric permittivity to avoid distorting electromagnetic wave characteristics passing through them. Fiberglass, which is often used for radomes, is a dielectric and may be damaged by lightning strikes, potentially disabling radio navigation systems. Carbon fiber reinforced plastics with conductive carbon fillers have intermediate properties between metals and dielectrics, 
but they also require additional lightning protection. To protect structures made of polymer composite materials, PCMs, special lightning protection coatings are used that give PCMs electrical and thermal conductivity close to that of metals. One effective method involves weaving metal wires, usually copper, into the carbon fiber structure, which provides reliable lightning protection without significantly increasing weight or compromising aerodynamic performance. Aircraft number 73051 is the first MC-21 prototype and also the first on which the entire cable network was replaced during the 2022 to 2023 re-engining to the PD-14 engines. At the end of 2024, the aircraft was prepared for ground lightning protection tests and is currently not flying. Previously, in 2021, similar tests were conducted on the same aircraft, but at that time, it was equipped with a foreign manufactured wiring system. The evaluation of lightning protection for an aircraft is a comprehensive study aimed at improving the safety and reliability of airliners, which are equipped with a large number of complex electronic systems under lightning strike conditions. The ongoing work is part of the import substitution program and efforts to strengthen the technological independence of the domestic aviation industry, noted Anton Klykov. At the Irkutsk Aviation Plant, work is also underway on assembling another set of MC-21 passenger aircraft. Currently, specialists in Workshop 205 are working on three main fuselage sections, F1, F2, and F4A. Once the work is completed, the components will be sent to a specialized shop for painting and then to final assembly. The MC-21 assembly at the Irkutsk Aviation Plant is organized using modern technological solutions. High-precision jigs and automated riveting systems are used, which reduce the likelihood of defects and increase the speed of assembly. Workshop 205 follows a modular assembly principle, allowing work on different sections to proceed simultaneously which shortens the overall production cycle. To accelerate the assembly process, IAZ has implemented digital technologies and control systems. Sensor devices monitor riveting and welding parameters in real time, enabling quick detection and correction of deviations. These measures reduce equipment downtime and increase productivity. Additionally, logistics within the plant are being optimized. The use of automated transport vehicles and modern storage systems shortens the time needed to move large assemblies between workshops. The implementation of a unified information system ensures coordination between various departments and reduces delays. Now, do you think MC21 testing can finish by 2025 or will it get a provisional certification? Let us know in the comments. Please feel free to like, share, and subscribe to our channel.